Okay, good morning. I wanted to uh, give you a summary of our Old Testament survey and the first 12 signs of the 77 signs and actions that will help us to uh, memorize the storyline of the Old Testament, starting with Genesis. Okay, so I'm just going to review the 12 uh, actions that we need to uh, uh, memorize and act out so that we can remember uh, the Old Testament survey. But one of the things that is so significant with this approach of learning is that everybody can have an opportunity to study at your own pace or depth. If you want to do more studying on each of the books of the Old Testament, you can do that based on the, uh, the method that was taught by Pastor Mai on the inductive Bible study. You can do the reading. For example, why wait for Exodus? You can start reading the book of Exodus and then write your own outline. And as we study the outline and put the context of it together, we can easily memorize. Also, you can learn Vietnamese. You can actually start working through Genesis and learning all these actions in Vietnamese. And together as a family, you can sit down and do these signs and maybe do an award system that you can memorize and get these things done. I think it's an incredible opportunity for the entire church at Kirkwood to really dig deep and learn God's word and know that God has an incredible plan for all of us. So I'm hoping that you'll be excited as I am excited about this adventure that we're all going to take. Okay, so are you ready? Now, the book is Walk Through the Old uh, Testament, and really, it's very structured in, in such a way that you can actually learn the different types of literature and books here. For example, you have history, or there's poetry, or uh, the prophets, okay, prophecy. So we are going to unpack that, and hopefully, at the end, whether it's six weeks or uh, uh, six months, it doesn't matter as long as we grasp the basic concept and understanding the storyline. And then you can learn the Vietnamese too. And as together, for the whole family, we can come together and study the Word of God and then pray. Okay? All right, so let's start doing the first 12 signs. You start with Genesis and you hold the whole world in your hand like this and you say, Creation, creation, fall. And then there's the flood and the water rises. So here he goes, the first one. Creation, fall, flood. And then God works through the nations. God blesses the nations. Nations, 4,000 years, 4,000 years. So start with creation, fall, flood. Nations, 4,000 years. And God used a family to get the good news of his redemptive work to save humanity. And this family started in a town called Ur. That's U R spelling Ur. So Abraham's family started there. Uh, just imagine a map. And the back of me is north, and toward you is south. And so from Eden, the city or the town of Ur is that way, south of Eden. So we would point to Ur. And behind that, south of Ur, is Persian Gulf. And when we go to the Persian Gulf and we put our finger to the ocean, what would we taste? Salt. Right? So you would taste salt, and salt is spelled S A L T. And that's so that we can memorize using the acronym SALT to memorize the four major people in this family. That's Sarah, Abraham, Lot, and Tara. So let's go back from the beginning. First, we start with creation, fall, flood, nations. 4,000 years. Ur, Persian Gulf, Salt, Sarah, Abraham, Lot, Terah. You got it. So I'm hoping that all of us 
can slowly walk through this process. And for many of us, if we want to study more, you can read and study inductively and apply this incredible story of what God has done in raising up a family to get the good news for his redeeming, rescuing plan. And ultimately, as we look at the different five covenants that starting with Genesis and toward the new covenant of Christ, that's what we're going to be doing. So it's not really going to be structured in a sense that uh, we're going to have uh, classes with periods, but we're going to try it out and see how far and how fast and section of the time we'll make the adjustments in so long as we together do it as a church, as a family. So I'm excited for this coming semester as we're embarking on Old Testament survey. Thank you. Thank you so much.